Welcome back to Elden Ring, everyone. Well, after 35 episodes, I think, of Elden Ring, we have officially arrived at the point where we need to do our first respec. I've come back to Renala. Uh, I have a larvar tier, which I picked up. I don't even know where, but I have one. And I think it's time to rearrange our stats a little bit. Here's the thing. Um, you know, I was having kind of trouble with a lot of the enemies here uh, in, lately. And at first I thought it's because I don't have enough HP, which is partly true. Uh, from what I've seen, the mountaintops of the giants, I did do a little bit of investigation here, should really be attempted at like level 100. But besides the point, uh, the enemies there are extremely difficult according to people, so it's no, no wonder I'm getting my ass kicked. However, besides that fact, one of the things I've really been noticing lately is this 16 points into intelligence is absolutely god-fucking useless. Uh, I initially put points into my intelligence because I wanted to explore magic in this game even before doing the ultimate sorcerer guide and it was very helpful. I mean, early on magic is incredibly powerful, but lately I've been noticing that aside from my weapon buff, which gives you like marginal uh, increases in damage and, you know, I have like, look at how many usable, consumable buffs I have anyways. So aside from that, uh, I'm not using my spells at all. And even if I'm using them, they're dealing so little damage to enemies that it's basically completely pointless. And I have these 16 points sitting in intelligence, which can be put to much, much better use. So let's do a respec. Aside from that, I am not planning on doing anything else major. I am happy with this build. I do like what we got going on. I do like my weapons and my general stat like redistribution. But yeah, the, the intelligence points gotta go, which is actually quite, kind of like a significant amount of points. So yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna mess around with this a little bit and we'll see. We'll see. Arcane, I think I'm gonna pump up to 15. Having 14 mind is not bad because of spirit summon. Well, actually, mm, this is why I'm going to speed this up. Okay, I think I am happy with this. Got more vigor. And I got a little bit more mind. The reason is, the reason I got more mind is because of these special spirit summons. These guys, they have higher uh, like FP requirements and I heard it through the grapevine from people that these guys are pretty, pretty useful. So yeah, I think this is gonna, this is gonna make things a lot better. I can get rid of my shit, uh, like my mm, staff, I don't need it. The rest can stay, the misericord. Yeah, all my weapons, basically all my weapons are staying except for that. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Cool, let's get going then. What I'm gonna do is we'll give um, this Luthal guy a try. Uh, where is he? Yeah, he to me seems like someone who might be pretty useful. He looks like he's useful. So yeah, let's try him out. He doesn't have a head, but he's a knight, so yeah. Other than that, I do have my next path. We're gonna stay out of the mountaintops of the giants and we could go to the other place, Mount Gelmir, I think it's called. But we also have this, which I discovered through Elden Ring Explorations, which I think the episode is probably gonna come out tomorrow. This is the thing, the comet 
that dropped after Radon. Um, it's pretty cool. I mean, it strangely didn't cause as much destruction as a comet actually should. I mean, that was like a laser-focused fucking Odin blast from Call of Duty Ghosts. But there's a traitor taken care of. Onwards to Nokron, then gone. I'll catch up. So this is gonna lead us to Nokron, and that to me sounds like a gem. And yeah, we're gonna get going. We can ride our horsey down into. Well, wherever this is going to lead to. Navigating this ain't going to be easy, I can already tell. There's going to be some Skyrim horse shit going on, but... So there's, there's no way you can survive that, but I see where we need to go. Yeah, this is... <clears throat> I might be incorrect here, but based on sort of... God, it's hard to see. Based on sort of the general location of this place. And let me tell you, it's very convenient that these rocks are floating. How screwed we would be if they weren't. Um, this is gonna, I think, lead to... Like that city portion of... It's not a chest. Fuck. Okay. Here I am breaking into this place and I'm already destroying furniture. It looks like it's going to lead to that city portion of the underground we saw that I was wondering how you would get to. You know, there was like a big palace and everything that we saw. And I definitely think that that's what it's going to uh, all lead to. And if I'm wrong, whatever. Yeah, I'm doing risky jumps already. Soporific, what the hell is that? Speaking of all these greases, oh, gravity probably, right? Oh no! Interesting, inflict sleep. <laughs> yeah, I heard, I heard about this, this oh shit, <laughs> don't jump. Nokron Eternal City. Yeah, that's very much looking like it. Oh, this is a cool place, holy shit. Um, yeah, there is a sleep status in this game, which is cool. I think it does exactly what it says on the tin. All right, then. What the hell? <laughs> they really got creative with the enemies here. It's just a blob that shoots at you. This is really reminding me of Shulva from Dark Souls 2. This is a very, very Shulva-like area. Or Dark Souls 3's... Um, God, the place where you fight Yorm. What's it called? You know. You know what I'm talking about. Still, it's always good to see that I am sufficiently powerful for this place. Just in terms of the damage. The boss, whatever boss will be here, could still kick my ass. But yeah, we have a new place. New optional side dungeon. And quite a few upgrade materials. You can actually have proper platforming sections in this game without like you having to constantly shit your pants worrying about falling off because let me tell you this jump button is a godsend and it should have been added much much earlier into the series because I don't even know why From used to think that it would be a good idea or fun to have a similar sections to this without a jump button with the janky ass like running and jumping mechanic. This is That very much looked like a floor that would cave away. Yeah, I don't even know what they were thinking. But I'm glad it's not the case. What the hell are these guys? Like daybreakers? It's like some vampire ass enemies. Don't worry. I've seen Blade. I'm an ex expert on vampires. 
That blade is pretty cool. That's something you should put back into the MCU. God, I don't even remember when I last watched an MCU movie. I have not been. Pretty much, I think since I've seen End War. And Infinity War, but that's about it. Did we need a reminder that we're still in Nokron? Guess so. Ghost Glover Picker's Bell Bearing. Oh, is that the version? Because Ghost Glover is the one that... Ghost, Ghost Glover is the one that does Spirit Ashes. Oh, cool. That's good. See, it was worth coming here. It's only level 1, uh, so you probably meant to come here much earlier. You can come here straight... Oh, God, I can't even talk. You can come here straight after Radon. I just didn't know where the place would be. And I didn't bother exploring. That was a fail. So what I was gonna say is now that I'm... Once I learn how to shoot... Now that I'm not gonna be using magic, I will be using my thing a lot more. My bow and arrow. Can I get a sick parry? I don't think so, because these guys are using like some bullshit ass attacks. They don't even have a weapon. That's how lame they are. Thought I saw just probably was just the lighting. I thought I saw something there. Yeah, and again, as I've said. Got these guys with their shields. Oh, nice! In case I change my mind again. Oh, come on. Nah, it, it ain't gonna work. Once you add multiple into the equation... Yeah, that's when it's done. In fact, I'm probably a little bit overpowered for this place, but... Listen, I've been getting my ass kicked so much by everything... That... I feel like I have a right to be feeling a little bit OP. Right? I do have that right. Great Shield Soldier Ash is nice. Ooh, that, that was a mist. Let me guess it summons a bunch of these guys. <clears throat> Probably. It does lead there. It is the same city. I knew it. Oh, but damn, that palace is still... This can't be like this huge, this area, right? Probably it's gonna be something we can teleport to. Because that if that palace isn't something... It looks like one of those like Greek... You know, palace thingies. As I beautifully described. Oh shit, what the hell is that weapon? I think I have that weapon. It's the Nox Flowing Sword or whatever it's called. And they're really like... Like, if you wanna... Respec, come here, people. This is so cool. There's a boss. What the shit. I saw one of these in the previous Elden Ring explorations as well. This like giant skeleton which Not sure if that's just a statue, but it doesn't look like a statue. Um Whatever. Do we have a we do have stake of Marika, nice. I think I'm as prepared as I'll ever be. Let's do daggers. What the hell? Oh shit. <laughs> Mimic tier. It's Dark Link. It is Dark Link. 
Oh, fuck. It's me. That's pretty cool. Get parried, me. No, don't get parried. This is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, bitch. I know your deal. I know your tricks, Mr. Sketchhead. Why did I name this character Sodom, right? From Street Fighter. Okay, this is pretty cool. Do I have that many iframes? Am I this annoying to fight if you're a boss? I guess so. Oh yeah, you wanna get bled as well? Jesus, I am this annoying, aren't I? But hold on. I do want... Oh fuck, he can heal. I can heal. The good thing is NPC... I think NPCs can only heal once. Of course I had to go for this weapon. Yeah, idiot. I don't know. See, it's a little bit weird because... I'm not gonna be, like, even denying that I don't constantly shit on Bloodborne for... Um, that would kill me, actually. Just be careful. I don't constantly shit on Bloodborne for... Um, having infinite healing for the NPCs. That's just mad annoying. Oops, wrong thing. Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Got a point down. Got a point down. So yeah, I constantly shit on Dark Soul. I mean Bloodborne for allowing its NPCs to heal forever. But the other hand is this, where they, they're kind of lame. I think Dark Souls 3 had it right, where I think NPCs had like two or three flasks at most. I think that's like a pretty fair... I, I thought so. This looks like... this totally looks like a torrent area. Man, this is cool. There's fucking eagles here as well. Eagles, I think you're a bit lost. But, hey, I ain't gonna hate. I appreciate it. Don't know where that came from, but... That was just, like, gifted to me. Hey, I'm cool with that. Yeah, that's where we were down there. That, that is so intriguing, that place. It just like draws you in because it's so well lit. Someone's having a party in there. For sure. It's a rave. Like when raves were a thing. Oh shit. Really the same thing? Alright. I guess this is the gimmick of this area. Light all them torches. Oh, hey. What is that place? Lord of Blood, your eminence. I beg you, grant me a seat at the table of the dynasty. Long live the Mogwin dynasty. Long live the Mogwin dynasty. Hmm. Is that their capital? I am very, very curious now. Oh, oh no. Oh no. How long was it since we faced these guys? I don't know, but I was happy for that period not having to see them. Yet, hey, here they are. This place is mapped out already for me. Okay. See, I did wonder, because there was a significant chunk of that map previously. 
that we just didn't see or didn't have access to. And I guess that's the reason. What up? Play the song of your people. Sorry to kill you for it. That was a dick move. Mr. Sketchhead, you're evil. Get parried, bitch. I've since become a parry god since we've last met. These guys are not parry gods, but they're stun locking gods. Oh, this is gonna be... The whole point of this area is again to just light all that shit. This is gonna be fairly dull. Oh! That's the Red Wolf of Radagon. Another one. Man, do they ra like reusing bosses in this game or what? It's much better fighting it on a horseback, I'm not gonna lie. I should probably get off because Torrent's gonna get annihilated. This is... This is a slight problem. Yeah, this is a uh, more than a slight pl problem. Cool. Where did the big wolf go? Just lost aggro? I no. Ugh, the stun locks. Die. Thank you. Sorry, I killed your big wolf, buddy. Ah. <laughs> <No. laughs> uh. How are you supposed to, like, if I'm using an ultra great sword, how the hell am I even supposed to do this? If I was just using an ultra great, you gotta have a backup weapon for some shit in this game, because this is absolutely ridiculous. Like, I literally can't get an attack off. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's pretty, that's pretty annoying. I gotta keep that in mind if I ever, like, actually decide to play a strength build. Hmm. Oh, cool. There's like a lake here as well. The <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, there's another one. The thing I haven't figured out yet is the source, like, where the thing is that we're supposed to be lighting these things for. Rats. There's annoying enemy number two. And I know I'm just mashing, and there's probably a smarter way to do this, but... I don't know when. It's like literally very, oops, knocked into my mic, very difficult to get an attack off. Yeah, let's take a look around anyways. I might speed some of this up just to keep the flow going with the episode. What? Oh, there it is. There it is. Is that just gonna be another one of these? That wasn't it. That was the part I already... I'm stupid. I almost had it. See, because I was wondering... No, 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 this is it. See, I what I thought is I dropped onto the, the one below. But this is a different one. So we're ju are we just gonna have to fight the same boss again? That fucking deer or whatever. The like ride of Malfurion from Warcraft 3. I guess so. Alright then. We need two more. There's one there.
guarded by an absolute metric fuck. Ah, oh, god damn it! Metric fuck ton of these guys. Yeah, I prefer not losing my HP. Uh, not not my HP, my runes, but HP is that works as well. Guess it's healing them, I think. Like the Bong Summoner. Yeah, sorry about me being OP. It's just... I can't help it. So there's one here, and I'm gonna go pick up my runes. And still further on up. There, what game? Are you messing with me? Ah, <sighs> poor K, poor K, as they say in Spain. I gotta make me do some like platforming for my. Anyways, where is the last one? I saw it somewhere. Not sure if I sort of triggered it. There's one there. Yeah, I got that one. Oh, hey. Hello there, Side of Grace. Randomly tucked in here. And I'm just thinking, you can totally... Yep, that's why it's there. I knew it, you could totally come down here. Hmm. Maybe you were not supposed to come down here, because... <laughs> no, 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 we, we, we're getting somewhere. Night, what the hell is all this? Night's sacred ground. I'm down with the sickness. I'm liking it. This place is very cool, by the way. Can I just say that? Rune arc is okay. And you can definitely get across there, but... My years of... My years of playing Assassin's Creed tell me that this is where we're meant to go. Oh shit! Silver tier. It's not fair. You can just transform into random ass NPCs. These are not even like proper NPCs, these are just. You have some stamina on you. <sighs> Give me the treasure. Yeah, they have them iframes by being naked. Hmm. All right. I mean, nowhere to go, like nowhere to go but forward, right? This is such a because we still have that whole thing back in the woods. I'm assuming that's just gonna probably lead to a boss fight. And I'm thinking that this is the main... This is the main thing. Black wet blade. It probably does. I don't know. What infusion could that do? Another fog gate, which... If I had to guess... Uh, yep. And I do not have... It's a double one, too. That was... Oh, hey there. Sorry about the backstab. I did not know I had a stone sword key. I'm very happy that I did. Now that is 100% a treasure chest. Nice. Mimic tier. Oh, 
is this it? Listen, like, you know, I, tr I try to stay away from Elden Ring, like, spoilers, but at this point, who hasn't heard of the infamous Mimic tier? Uh, yeah, this is it. So what it does is, I, if I remember, like, if I know correctly, you... Um, okay, thank fuck that didn't do damage. I think it takes a portion of your HP, right? And your FP. And it summons a copy of you. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Whoa! Hey! That's not fair. It's a sentient ball. It's Indiana Jones's worst nightmare. And it has HP too. It's a ball you can kill. Jesus, it's relentless. That's a long time since I've... I mean, probably you can just run away from it. Okay, what I'm gonna do is we'll drop down and we are going to book it. This thing is too fat to fit through, right? Yes, it is. I knew it. And what I think I'm probably going to do is... See, initially I thought that the upstairs portion with the boss, or like with the lighting of the torches, is the side area. That's the side... I mean, like, that's the main area. And this is the side hoe. But I think it's the other way around. Um, so I'm going to go back up. We're going to level up. I'm gonna go back up and find the, the last of those things to light. Uh, get that sweet, sweet 35. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, fucking hell, there it is behind the tree. <clears throat> I ran around for quite a long time. And I just couldn't find this last one. This is not an easy area to navigate, uh, to put it lightly. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's get back there. Um, see, the thing is that it's just a layout of this area, sort of like the verticality and the trees and all that. It just made it a little bit difficult to navigate, but it's okay. We know where to go now. If this is the same boss, like the same deer, I'm going to be so disappointed because I thought that was like a fun, cool one-off boss. But we'll see. We'll see. I very much have a feeling it's gonna be... Yep, it's definitely gonna be the exact same thing. You know what? Let's give Luthal a spin. Let's see what Mr. Luthal can do. Um, Regal Ants. Yeah, it's the exact same boss. That's super disappointing. Oh, shit. He teleports. Luthal? That is a lot of FP. I trust you, boy. Ah, uh, that is... I'm so sad. This game does, I think, have a problem with recycling bosses. Damn. Talk about teleportation. They can't do torrent here. Shit. <laughs> I don't know if this is something we can bleed. It's a bit up in the air. I mean, it is dead. It looks very much dead. So I don't know if it has any blood. Jesus. Oh, fuck. Luthal, take the heat. Use that big-ass shield of yours. Thank you. I don't think you can bleed this thing. Fucking hell. I had trouble with the first one as well, which is weird because this, like, on the surface, this thing looks easy. Did he just. Damn. Nothing personnel, kid. Just straight up teleported. Luthal is cool. 
I like him. He's a little bit not as good on the accuracy side, but he doesn't he is missing his head. So what the shit is that? <gasps> he healed. Okay, we're screwed. We're screwed. Jesus, Luthal. So he's a bit of an idiot in that he walks into... Like, shit is not meant to walk into, like the projectiles, but... To be fair, like... He is missing a head, isn't he? So, again... I feel like some benefit is warranted. Can you pass away now? Kill it! Is it dead? Oh, please don't heal. It's gotta have like 1 HP left. And you're dead now. There we go. Yeah. Aside from the fact that it was recycled, that was okay. Remembrance of the Regal Ants. We didn't get a remembrance from the first one, did we? I don't think so. Let's take a look. The ancestor spirits exist as a phenomenon beyond the purview of the earth tree. Life sprouts from death as it does from birth. Such is the way of the living. Very philosophical. Uh, this is where we need to go. I'm 44 minutes in. This is going to be a long episode. I think we'll leave this place for the next recording. Um, I know, I know, I keep cog blocking people with these cliffhangers, but hey, this still looks like a pretty big area. We got a lot to go. So I think I'll wrap it up here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring. This is a cool little side area. I like it. It's not going to give us enough to. Like, in terms of levels to make any significant dent on where we're actually meant to go, which is, of course, the um, mountaintop. But, hey, everything helps. I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Peace out. Take care. Did I say like, comment, and subscribe? If not, like, comment, sub subscribe. Turn on post notifications. I'm losing the ability to speak. Peace out and see you.